We are going to be telling you a story. Each player is going to tell it to you in some sort of character. So let's figure out who our characters are going to be. Marielle. I'm Gladys. I'm your neighbor who knows everything. <laughs> I am Boris Mavodomish the Vish I thought you died to plane crash. Too soon? Too soon? The man you were thinking of was my best friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But he deserved it. Anyway, I'm a Russian film director. Uh, and you? Yo, Kel Poga, my friends come across. <laughs> Yo, my name's Anthony. I'm from Brooklyn. Oh. All right. So next, we need to get a story. So let me have the name of a small child, small boy, small girl. Uh, small. Matilda. Matilda. Oh, I like Matilda. That's my dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be easy for me to remember. All right, Matilda, and give me something I can hold in my hand. Did you do? I'm doing Crystal ball. I kind of like didgeridoo. All right. Y'all know what a didgeridoo is? I have one. We have an expert over there. All right. And give me some sort of adjective about this didgeridoo. Sticky. Broken. All right. Stick it in. Matilda was five years old, and her mother gave her a totally righteous present. It was called a didgeridoo. And then she was like wearing the cutest patent leather shoes, but then she was drinking a Coca-Cola, which is like so gross and not good for you, and she wasn't supposed to be drinking Coca-Cola, and I saw her through the window. <laughs> her mother had been very upset, so I thought I should tell her about this. Coca-Cola was very difficult to get. <laughs> so in line. <laughs> hey, Boris, I'm up, huh? <laughs> so after Matilda got dined on with the didgeridoo covered with coke, she starts blowing that thing. I mean, it was honking like a moose. And it was like, wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> it was disturbing the entire neighborhood. So her parents decided. Maybe they should just take the didgeridoo away from her, which is totally not cool, guys. So she decided that she wanted the, the didgeridoo back. So she begged her parents, like, over and over and over again. And they were like, no, Matilda, you haven't learned your lesson yet. You have to be punished, and we're going to take the didgeridoo away from you. And she just kept asking and asking and asking. And she's like, please, 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 please. Hey! End of chapter one. <laughs> Matilda's parents suddenly disappeared. <laughs> I was looking all over the neighborhood for him. I was in the bushes. I was behind them. the fence. But they couldn't find him. And there's an 18 year old kid with a sticky pipe organ in her mouth living alone in a house. <laughs> it is totally not righteous because uh, she wasn't even emancipated yet. <clears throat> And honestly, even though she was 15, she could have done something with her split ends. <laughs> like cut them all off with all of their hair. You know, I noticed a lot of hairstyles in the neighborhood recently, and they're frankly just getting out of control. So I thought Matilda, you know, she really should do something with the hair. Like, because she looked terrible with her hair all cut off like but it was okay because she actually realized that the didgeridoo had actual magic powers, even though it was sticky. All right, let's stop there. Let's move on. 
and Miss Hilda and the Sticky Didgeridoo, Chapter 7. Go. So she left the didgeridoo in my yard. <laughs> the, didgeridoo, the didgeridoo was buried deep into the yard. Because there's nothing you can do if it's down there eight feet. Who can hunt that thing? But Matilda was away at college, so she didn't even care about the didgeridoo anymore. Yeah. She was totally more focused on like catching some like righteous waves. Cause... No, she was more focused on actually getting the right outfit for her complexion. But at the same time, <laughs> she also went to the West Coast, and you can't not surf when you're on the West Coast. I mean, and the didgeridoo, again, still in my yard, right? <laughs> <laughs> now she's just being wasted while she's at college. So, I think she should... <laughs> the didgeridoo, please get it off the yard. It's sticky. Nobody wants it there. <laughs> Magic is for democracy. <laughs> Award. And uh, then she disappeared. 